I think we may have touched upon this, but Sacramento's bench uh, on this road trip hasn't really done anything. And I think they coming into the road trip, they were averaging over 40 points a game as a bench unit. And I think in these first three games, they're averaging like 24 points a game. And Malik Monk only has two assists. You're not really seeing so much of the energy boost. There's stretches where they play well, um, but they're not having the same impact as, you know, when the team was winning all these games and whatnot um, uh, before this road trip. Um, And it's just, I think Monk in particular, because we were talking a week or two ago, I think just last week that, you know, when, especially when Sabonis goes off the floor, um, but even when Fox goes off the floor, just Sabonis, uh, Monk is one of the best players on the team because he helps keep things afloat and he helps keeps the engine running. And he does that by pushing the ball, pushing the pace, pushing the ball into the paint um, where he facilitates and can score. Um, Both things open up for one another and it really lights a fire under everybody and gets things going. And then all of a sudden the opposing team has Sabonis checking back in or whatever. And it just, you don't get a break. And when you take that away, um, it really not only takes away a huge asset, but now you're forcing Savonis to play more um, on an already grueling road trip and work harder. Um, and, you know, we're talking about two out of these three previous games in particular where they're not exactly looking at themselves, looking like themselves. That's another big reason why. Um, and, you know, again, it's interesting because Monk said, I think a week ago that, he's able to get really easy looks at the rim because teams just expect him to pass now that it, you know, which kind of just give off the impression. It's like, man, this guy's got everything at his disposal. And then he comes into these games and he's got two assists or whatever over the last three. And I don't know. It just seems like the team's really adjusted to Malik Monk and um, it, that he was a big part of why this team was playing so well. Um, and he'll be a big part of why they start playing well again, presumably. Um, so when he's not playing up to that level, you see the drop off and I don't know. What have you, you agree with that, right? Yeah. I mean, of course he's the third best player on the team without Fox. He's the second best player and it's, it dude, I don't know. I, of course we're going to be hurting when, Monk, one one of your top three guys isn't going, especially with your second best player out. So that's been detrimental, really, especially against the Knicks. And uh, he, he just kind of looked off. Um, I, I just, the dude's, I mean, yeah, the, all credit to defense, but, you know, Malik, he's, dude's a microwave. That's what I like to call him. Like, he heats up, but uh, you got to heat up first, right? And he just hasn't got there yet. Uh, or over the last couple of games. So, I don't know. Maybe he seems like the type of player where it's like, all right, like, he might have, you might go cold, he might go real cold. I mean, that's what we're seeing right now. Because, um, I don't know. He's just been, he's been playing so well, hitting his shots and everything. It seems like he's making, like, or dishing out five assists a game. Um, so, I don't know. It's just, it's those streaky players, right? Those field players and... It doesn't help you on the road, but it, it, I mean, it hurts a lot. So especially without Fox out, like you you need someone to step up. It's, it's Monk or at least be play at the level he was playing at. It seemed like over the last week or two. So with his absence on the offense, really, it's just, it 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 makes sense why we've lost or at least we lost against the Knicks and he didn't play too well against the Bucks either. Or the yeah, uh, well, he had, he was good in the first half against the Bucks. Then he yeah, just, he was just non-existent. So. Mm-hmm. But it's also not just what he does to keep the team afloat, but just also unlock the rest of the bench unit, especially like a guy like Chemezi Metu. Um, like all the production that you see out of Metu, you could not all of it, <laughs> um, 
but a good amount of like, like when Metu gets alley oops, it's usually coming from like Malik Monk, and you know Monk's ability to kind of keep the pace going allows Metu his rim running opportunities, which also open up opportunities for dunks. So when Monk's not doing a lot of those things or isn't able to do a lot of those things, like Metu had he. he he had zero field goal attempts uh, against the Knicks. I think, I mean, like Sabonis played what, like 39 minutes. So like they were trying to get Sabonis back out there as soon as possible. I think Matthew only played nine minutes, like most of the Met bench guys, but you know, it affects that as well. Um, but also like Terrence Davis was out for a while with a back injury and he came, he returned to uh, play in New York you know, first game back, you know, of three from deep, uh, not really doing anything. Um, Akpala, like speaking about those offensive rebounds, like I noticed he kind of wasn't up to speed on a lot of the uh, boxing out. He did a pretty poor job of that on a few instances. Um, he only played a few minutes. Uh, who else there? Uh and uh, Trey Lyles, he actually played pretty well, but he missed all that. He missed that considerable, I guess, chunk of time with the the illness. And it just kind of feels like they're just working him back and kind of keeping him matchups. Um, but he played pretty decently in about eight or nine minutes against the Knicks. So it'll be interesting to see if he can kind of – okay, I think – he hit a three that was kind of big. It felt like it kind of got things going again. And then I think he ended – either the first half or the third quarter with a, I think it was the third, he ended the third quarter with a and one finish at the rim. I think after an offensive rebound. And so like expect him to see him maybe on the floor more. Maybe he'll kind of help out the bench unit a little bit, maybe kind of working in some fresher legs maybe, but you see, you see all these issues and it kind of, you look up at the top and it's Malik Monk at the top of this pyramid essentially. And when he's shut down, there's nothing false to the rest of everybody else. So it's kind of rough. It'll be important for him to kind of work past it, I guess, or I don't know. Philadelphia is probably going to be presenting the same challenges as the last couple of games. So um, I don't know, but that bench unit is huge and Monk is one of the most important players on this team. Yeah. You can, you can see it in, in the drop off. Yeah. I, I, that bench, I mean, you said it, he's the bench is so important to this team, this team's success. I mean, that's why they've been doing so well. They're an important piece of this team and he's the catalyst of that bench and he's not going, it's, you know, we see it. The, the bench can't get it going either. So, We'll see. We'll see how he is tonight. Hopefully he can get back on track and maybe with Fox back into it, it can help. But yeah, he's had it rough and you know, he's pain and so is the bench and so are we, so is the team. 